Oh, I got it. Oh, yep. something a little bit different we're gonna be throwing jerk bait in open water let me show you how I do it over here let's do it okay so the water is flowing right to left and the wind is also blowing from right to left that means that this 45 degree angle right here if there's any bait fish around this area the bait fish will be washed against this little curve right here and that's usually where the striper will be at because that's where the bait will be at so if any of you guys are planning to come out here and open water aqueduct that's probably the first thing you want to look for anything that has a turning point Usually before I come out here, I'll check on Google Map before I come out here. The reason for that is because you don't want to waste your time when you come out here. You just want to hit that spot real quick. Yeah, most of the time when I'm out here, you know, I'll just toss it right out there and then Without reeling, I'll just work that bait in that same area over and over again. You know, because the water's flowing. The water's taking my lure out there, so all you're doing is just working the lure on the same spot. You know, I could work this area over and over again for like a minute. Just let the jerk bait, you know, sit there. Just jerk, jerk. Just let it sit there. The water will take it. And I just repeat that over and over again. You know, if there's any fish there, if there's any striper there, the striper will hit. All right, guys. So one thing you want to look for when you're out here is the water level as you can see the water is supposed to come up here and the water dropped down i say about four feet and to me personally i like fishing high tide when i'm out here i feel like the fish are more active compared to you know low tide so yeah just a thought for you guys if you guys do come out here you know know what you're doing All right, guys, so I didn't tell you guys, my father-in-law came with me this time, and it seems like he caught a small one. Let's go check it out. Beautiful fish.
just thought maybe I could share one of my favorite jerk bait with you guys. This is a Lucky Craft Pointer SP jerk bait. I don't know, when I went to the store, I was thinking the guy that made this jerk bait, did he make it to catch fish or did he made this lure and design this lure so fishermen could buy it? I don't know, it's it's kind of weird. What do you guys think? Me personally, I think the guy that made these shirt bait, they just do it so, you know, fishermen could go and buy it. That's what I think about when I buy lures. You know, I think they just made these lures just to attract fishermen, not the fish itself. Although it catches fish, you know, kind of weird. Leave a comment below, tell me what you guys think. Oh my gosh, dude. That is one big rattlesnake. Should we leave it alone? No, I'm not Alright, guys. That was pretty scary. Well, my brother almost got bit by a rattlesnake. Good thing we took care of that. When you guys are out here, be careful for rattlesnake. The rattlesnake was about, I say, about three yards away from uh, my brother. It's crazy, man. Be safe, stay safe out here. Oh, I got it. Oh, yep. Feels pretty small though. Oh, right off the drop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. Ooh. Oh, no, that's, that's no small one, Is this a small one? Is it? Oh, no. I think it's a keeper size. Yeah, keeper. <laughs> 19 right there. Yup. Come on, come on, come on. Right here, yo. Right here. Ooh. Right there. That's a 20, bro. That's a 20 inch right there. Woo. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Is that mega bass? Yep, mega bass. Woo! Alright, yo, so I just caught this beast. Usually, uh, you guys know how I usually do it. I usually just throw it right over here where the bridge is at, but I did something a little bit different today. I threw it out in the open. Um, and this beast came and got it. Got me by surprise. I didn't really think I'm gonna catch it, but here it is. Yo, that was crazy. Let me show you guys what I just did. I threw it right here, right here, straight up ahead. Right here, between where I'm at, between the other side to here, it's about 30 yards too. So I, all I did was threw it straight forward and uh, I jerked about like maybe five times and right on the pause, it took my lure out. When you're out here, uh, you want to toss out a ghost licking jerk bait. The reason for that is because right now it is about 100 degree. Uh, falling into nighttime right now. 100 degree out here. Clear sky. You want to throw something that is see through. The water is very clear, so you want to throw something that will blend in with the water. Mega Bass 110. Ghost jerk bait.
Got him? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh. Here we go. It's not a keeper? No. But it's a striper, though. Yes, sir. Could be a keeper. <laughs> Yeah, keeper. Yeah. Looks Ooh, like another keeper. Yep. Looks like 18 inch. Barely hooked on the lip. All right, guys. So we're guessing the fish is 20 inch, but it's 19 inch. I don't know if you guys can see that 19 inch exactly. Yep. Alright guys, so if you watch my last video, my brother's using the Dorealis. That Superman looking color. There you go. Superman color. Yep, this is one of the best jerk bait when you come out here. And my brother wasn't throwing far either. He threw it around this area. Right here. He was just sitting here throwing it pretty close right here so I'm assuming the striper is right underneath this bridge right here Oh, yep. Here we go. My brother got one. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, dude. That's it. That's it, yo. See you next year. Thank you guys for all supporting me. I'll see you next time on my next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you.